file, my voyage. I boarded the Avalon with an idea, a destination. Both now out of reach. I've been awake for seven days, awake far too soon, and I may well spend the rest of my life here in a steel world a thousand meters long. There's another passenger awake, a mechanic named Jim Preston. He seems to have accepted our fate, but I'm scared. I'm fighting to stay calm. All the other passengers will sleep for another 90 years while I live out my life on this ship, traveling forever, never arriving. My only companion, a total stranger. Why did you do it? Do I? Immigrate, leave Earth. I'm interviewing you. You what? You were the first hibernation failure in the history of space travel. That makes you a story. Who are you gonna tell? Posterity. So, why did you give up your life on Earth? 120 years space hibernation means you'll never see your family or friends again. You'll wake up in a new century on a new planet. It's the ultimate geographical suicide. Well, I could ask you the same thing. But it's my interview. Were you running away from something? No. Everything was okay. So? Well, I guess I just wanted a new world. I don't know, a fresh start. That's Homestead Company advertising. Is it? Jim. I, I know, I guess, you're right. Back on Earth, when something breaks, you don't fix it, you replace it. One of the colonies, they have problems to solve. And they're my kind of problems. And a mechanic is somebody. It's a new world still being built. I could build a house and live in it. Open country, room to grow. Now you're back to slogans. Can't slogans be true? Do you know how much Homestead Company made off its first planet? Eight quadrillion dollars. That's eight million billions. Colony planets are the biggest business going. Did you pay full price for your ticket? No, I'm in a desirable trade. So they fill your head with dreams, discount your ticket, and you fly off to populate their planet and give Homestead 20% of everything that you make for the rest of your life, not to mention the debt you run up on this fancy starship. So all you see here is 5,000 suckers? I see zeros on the Homestead Company's bottom line. I see 5,000 men and women changing their lives. 5,000 different reasons. You don't know these people. I'm a journalist. I know people. Really? This one? Is he a banker, a teacher, or a gardener? Banker. He's a gardener. And her, is she a Madison, Donna, or Lola? Donna's too serious for that hair. Lola. Madison. Shit. All right. Chef, accountant, or midwife? She has to be a midwife. There's no way you just made that one up. <laughs> She's a midwife. <laughs> I didn't know they still had midwives. I like her. We'd be friends. You think you can see that? Don't you? I do. A round trip ticket. That's right. I was gonna fly to Homestead too, live for a year, and then right back to Earth. I don't get it. I left Earth for a new life, but you end up back where you started? I end up in the future. 250 years in the future. On Earth, which is still a center of civilization, like it or not. And I'll be the only writer to ever travel to a colony world and come back. I'll have a story no one else can tell. What story? Humanity's flight to the stars, the greatest migration in human history. It's the biggest story there is. But you wouldn't know any of the people who are reading it. But they'd be reading it. Or they would have been. I'll never write it now. 
I don't know if I'll ever write again. Jim, I can't think of anything else to try to save us. And I don't even want to think about it anymore. What is there to do around here? Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Partner mode. Let's get it on. Come on, get in power mode. You just stand here, and then we repeat what they do. Is there anything else we can do? Just do the... Okay. You don't have to. Okay. Hey! Here we go. Let's see it. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! oh why are you smiling? <laughs> the love two points. Who's the lovely lady? This is Aurora. Aurora. A pleasure. <laughs> you did great! Okay, one more time. One more time, let's see it. I didn't wear pants for a month. Seven weeks and two days, to be exact. The man has no shame. Well, you're a little lacking in that area yourself, Arthur. <laughs> I laughed at the man with no pants until I realized I have no legs. <laughs> <laughs> for a minute, I almost forgot my life is in ruins. I'm sorry. What for? I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. All right. Good night, Aurora. She is wonderful.